Hey guys, it's Dana and it's time to talk about money. And in this video, I want to talk about a no spend challenge for the entire month. It is that time of year again. So I'm gonna talk about why you would do it, what it is, as well as the rules and some tips and tricks to help you get through. So let's get to it. Now the challenge is to not spend money for a full month. And not spending money, what, do, what exactly does that mean? Of course you're gonna have to spend some money. Basic needs and your rent, your mortgage, lights, water, all the normal things that you typically buy, you still need to buy those things for the month, correct? It just means to stop spending extra stuff. So if it is a need and not a want, then you can spend money on it. If it's something that you just want, if you're just shopping, then no, it's a no-go. You can't do it, okay? So the reason why you might wanna do this is to obviously to save money. If you cut back on expenses for the month, you will hopefully save some money and also to help you to break some spending habits. I think that doing a full month of no spending, no shopping, no impulse buying is really fantastic to help you break whatever spending habits you might have. Maybe you're an emotional shopper and when you're feeling down or you had a bad day at work or maybe you're a shopper with friends. That's how you go out and spend time with your friends or your family, but you spend money when you do that. Money you don't need to be spending on things you don't really need to have. So maybe it's just part of how you have developed your social interactions is shopping. A lot of people do that. So spending a full month, then you can tell your family members and your friends, hey, I'm doing a full month of no spending. I'm trying to challenge myself, which is another reason you might wanna do it is just to challenge yourself. I think that it can be fun to see what you can accomplish when you really try. And so just doing that to prove to yourself that you can do it is, uh, is a reason to do it, right? So those three things right there are reasons why you would want to. So when you are doing your 30 day challenge or your one month no spend challenge, can continue to remind yourself of the reason why you are doing it, which is going to get you through. So why are you doing it? Keep that, if you wanna write it down, put it somewhere in your house, in your wallet. That way if you feel the urge to go out and shop or to buy something that you don't need, you can pull it out and say, I'm doing this, it's just one month and this is the reason why. So you remind yourself of your why, that'll help you get through. So one of the things to do, one of the kind of rules is to prepare for your no spend month in advance. So whether a couple days before, a week before, before the month begins, you have to set up a budget for the month. If you've never done a monthly budget, then now's the time. So this is something else, another why, as far as why this might help you, this challenge to help you learn how to budget. So you wanna set up a budget, which at the top of the page or the top of the spreadsheet would be all the money that you have coming in that you expect to have coming in for that month. Paychecks, bonuses, commissions, whatever you have for that month. You put up there your best guess, of what you know the money's gonna be coming in. Then underneath it, you put your expenses, how much your mortgage or rent is, how much you know food, lights, water, all that stuff, all your bills for your four walls for your house underneath it. And then at the bottom, you'll have a number of something left. And so that will be, you know, that's how much money you have left to save or to help you pay off debt that month. And Within that budget though, there might be certain items that you know are coming up in the next month that you definitely need to pay. So maybe you have some kind of dues coming up for your kids for something that they have, some kind of activity, whatever it might be, something in there that you know it's not necessarily really a need, but it's something you have planned in advance, it's coming up. So you would put that in your budget for the month and that's acceptable within this. It's not something that you're just randomly spending, you're not impulse buying, it's something you have planned for, and it's in the budget for the month. Now, it doesn't mean you're gonna put into the budget that you're gonna go out to eat every other night because that kind of defeats the purpose. You don't need to go out to a restaurant every other night, um, unless it's for work, but you know, you don't, most likely you don't need that. So you can't just, try not to justify stuff and say, we need this, we really need to do this. I really have to buy this or whatever throughout the month. Try, this is a challenge. And the point is to try not to spend above what you really need or above what you've planned, but certain little things that you've planned out that you know you're gonna buy, okay, that's acceptable. But do your best to not put things in there that you really 
don't need. Okay, don't, don't, don't try to justify it. Okay, now some ways to get through it, some ways to survive, uh, obviously is to, like I said before, focus on the why. Another way is to do an extra challenge and try to sell things. Use this time, this month, however many days you've set forth to not spend money, to declutter your space, declutter your home, your apartment, your workspace, whatever it may be, and try to get rid of some things, whether that means donating stuff, trying to sell some things instead of buying things. Do that throughout this time period and use it as like a, a decluttering period. And I like to do this in January every single year because January to me is like a new year, fresh start. And it's sort of like fasting. I do intermittent fasting with, with food. Um, sometimes like we're all fast for, you know, I don't eat breakfast. I just, you know, go to dinner. Anyway, intermittent fasting, you may or may not have heard of it. But so I kind of consider this like a, um, a money fasting period, right? So I think that uh, if you can look at it in that light, it'll help you get through it. Try to change your mindset. Try to avoid certain places or people that trigger the feeling that you want to go shopping or buy things it's just for a month, a short period of time. It's not forever, but try to avoid those places or people that will make you feel like you want to spend money. Do that to get through. If you're used to going out and that's how you spend your free time, you're like, how am I gonna entertain myself? It's a great time to catch up on some movies. Most likely you have Netflix or Hulu or something. You can watch some movies or you can start reading more, check out books from the library. You can even get movies at the library. So try to do some free activities, start walking more. I like to do you know, hiking. So maybe you wanna pick up some kind of activity like that that doesn't cost any money. You can maybe play, um, I don't know, what can you play outside in the winter? Or maybe it's not winter where you are. <laughs> maybe you can go go to a park and play basketball there with some friends instead of going to go shopping or tennis. I really like tennis. So just try to think of some things in advance again and write them down. So when you're feeling bored or you're feeling like you wanna do something, you can say, let me look at my list that I prepared ahead of this challenge. What are some free things that I can go do so that I'm not bored? All right, so I wrote a whole blog post about this last year with diff 10 rules to survive a no spend challenge. I'll link that down below if you wanna go and read some more, some more things that might help you get through this. But um, I'm challenging you to a month of no spend and see how much money you can save through this process or if you can break some spending habits. And um, yeah, so let's get it going. All right, you guys, if it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday talking all about money. We live in the Philadelphia area. I work in finance full time, but I do this YouTube thing on the side to hopefully help inspire you guys to get out of debt, save money, and it also helps to inspire me and helps us to stay on our on our path, on the straight and narrow, <laughs> okay? All right, you guys, happy new year. All right, I'll talk to you next week. Bye. And these are the kids' advent calendars <laughs> for Christmas. And uh, they love these things. They love them. The Play Playmobil ones. And then my um, sister-in-law sent us the chocolate ones from Trader Joe's because she works there. So we got Trader Joe little chocolates. So they get a chocolate every day and a little toy in the Playmobil advent calendar. And that's part of our Christmas budget every single year. And they just love those.